Agent Marshall Marty, sign in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Over Team. Today we're gonna be working on the second part to our 2D platform with Swift Plus and SFML graphics, audio, networking. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that SFML does. Library. So, anyways, last tutorial I didn't really cover too much. All the which where do I have this saved? Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. So, anyways, last tutorial I didn't really cover much. All I really covered was basically how to set up SFML with code blocks. So this tutorial, we're going to be actually getting our hands a little bit dirty in the code. We're going to be declaring some variables, hopefully maybe getting some to some functions, but we'll see what happens. So let's just take a look at quickly what we've got here. So this here is the example code that comes when you create a new SFML project. So let's start the official coding timer. A, enter, A, get it, Canadian, A, okay, just kidding. Um, and let's actually get some coding. So first, before we get too far into these tutorials, I want to explain to you guys sort of my com my coding style. So basically, the whole my, my main objective with my coding style is efficiency, because that's kind of who I am. I like to code efficiently. I kind of like to do everything efficiently. So that basically means if I see a white space like this, yeah, me no likey. So I'm going to go, bloop. No, I'm not going to make another white space. Why would I do that? Okay, I'm going to go like that. You're going to see me do that. Actually, every I'm probably going to do that all the time. And that way, I it's less lines, and then it's just it, to, for me, it's easier on the eyeballs. And second thing, I do not like doing this where you go sf colon colon, and then and then say whatever you want, like and then do whatever you want to do. This here explains that to the compiler that render window is part of the SFML graphics library, but we can actually fix that. And to fix that, we go we just go use using name space space sf colon so what that basically says compiler we're using the sfml graphics library we do that for using the standard library with sdd as well so now we can take out all that on wasted like look at this one two three four four characters wasted Whew. that's just that's just a crime a crime to coding so we're going to start by defining a couple variables. This one here is going to be an integer. So type int to, to, to tell the compile that it is in fact an integer. And we're going to name this window uh, width. Ah, width. Um, something else I should, that's supposed to be a negative, uh, my equals. Okay, something else I should probably tell you about my coding style is also that with variables, when I name a variable, the first word of the variable is always going to be all little case and then the second word the first letter of the second word is going to be capital and then everything after that is going to be a capital first letter the important thing about their name variables keep it consistent so if you use underscores use underscores 100 percent of the time if you don't use underscores don't use underscores ever and the reason i say this is because consistency is really good because otherwise you're thinking did i include an underscore in that like whenever you guys see me name something i always tell you guys you guys can name it whatever you really want which is true, you can name it whatever you want, but the important thing is, whatever you do, do not do this. This is what you call an ermine's nest. Take a look at this for yourself. I'm not going to try and get it all worked up here, but 222? What? DD? GG? Q's? Call? What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have no idea how my brother finds stuff in this. This is my brother's USB that I've taken a quick look at here, and... How, how we find stuff is beyond me. Whenever I need a chunk of code from him, I, I can spend hours doing this all day. 222, bin. Oh, a jump object. Racing. What is racing doing? Oh, a different program? So, anyways, we're going to set this to 400, colon. And what did I just do? I just did something. Okay, whatever. And the reason we have to have the colon there is because it's part of, it's just the syntax for C++. It tells that the line is finished. And then we're going to create another integer with int. We're going to call this window height. Height. There we go. And we're going to set this to uh, 300, I guess. Oh, we'll, we'll give it a try. Ugh. Yeah. There we go. And now we can set these, the 600 and 800 to window uh, width comes first. Width comes first. Ugh. Think it through, Martin. Where is the letter H? Where is it? It's right here. Okay, that took longer than it should have. Um, but anyway, so width comes first, and then height comes after that because this first comes x-axis, so it's up and down. Second comes 
um, y axis, which is left to right, eh? So then we're going to find these two. Um, not to find, we're going to pop them in the code. And the reason we do this instead of just putting 600 here and 400 there is because, say, we want to divide the window half by 2 for uh, some reason. Well, it's going to be easier to divide the variable than figure out what our window width and window height is. So, enough said about that. Now we're going to name this here a little something, something more interesting. So we're going to call this, uh, platformer, platformer, and why I spelled it like that, because, um, in Canada, center is spelled with a T-R-E at the end, so I think, why not do the same thing for platformer? It looks a little weird, but it's Canadian, right? So now we can cut this chunk of the code out we here, because right now we're not going to be importing any textures yet. We'll do that later once we get more advanced with our game, but our game's not even working yet. And then we're going to just uh, clean that up. Ooh, that looks so much better. And I'm just going to quickly take out all these SF colon colons. Alright, so now we're going to define some booleans. So, to define a, to declare a boolean variable, you got to type B-O-O-L. And that tells that the data type is boolean, and a boolean is true, false, or none. So that's booleans. So now we're going to type up. And we're set all that equal to, for now is going to be false and false is with the cat little f all right so this is going to be the player controls of the character so for now my plan is have a little square they use left right up down to move around the screen that's basically going to be my plan it's going to get a little more advanced than that hopefully all right so we're just going to compile around and see what we got so far why did i double click i don't know uh air sprite was not kind of the scope oh we took out the sprite for now because we don't need that so we can take that line out and we should be good to go. Alright, so we've got this little black square. Looks like she's all good to go. Oh, uh, where'd that go? Oh, I guess that means that we're out of time. So, quick recap. Basically, define how tall we want our window to be. Got all those variables working. Declared some booleans. So, we didn't cover too much in this tutorial. But I do want to go at a good tutorial pace so that... I don't get burnt out as a programmer, and you guys don't get burnt out as a programmer either, because when learning to program, it is a lot to take in. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments about C++, leave that down in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like before you leave, and if we guys help you out and you, we en you enjoy what we do, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you next Wednesday. Marshall Marty out.